This morning, Robert Durst's team of lawyers is developing a new strategy. The eccentric millionaire is in a Louisiana facility awaiting extradition to California. The attorneys who won his acquittal in a Texas murder a dozen years ago are fighting a new murder charge. His lead lawyer gave his first television interview on this case to 48 Hours correspondent Erin Moriarty, and she joins us now. Erin, good morning. Good morning. I think we're in for a real legal battle. Dick DeGaron reveals that the Los Angeles assistant district attorney may have begun that battle with a questionable tactic, interviewing the accused without his lawyer present. A prosecutor came out here and took him aside and questioned him for three hours. What was Sunday morning. What was your reaction when you heard that? I was astonished. Do you think your client said anything incriminating to the prosecutor on Sunday morning? I don't think so, but I'll find out. This has got to be pretty tough as a, a lawyer. Well, I would, I would have hoped that uh, they wouldn't have tried to trick him into uh, uh, being interviewed with his lawyer not present, but they did. But he knows. He has a team of lawyers. Why didn't he just call you or call one of the lawyers? He did call his lawyer. He called the lawyer uh, son, uh, Saturday night when he was arrested. And the, the jail knew that. Uh, the, I'm sure the prosecutor knew that or could have found it out. You were successful as the lead attorney in Galveston, and he was acquitted of murder. It's going to be a lot tougher in L.A., isn't it? I don't know. I think the, the evidence uh, here is a lot more troublesome for the prosecution. Uh, not only is it a circumstantial evidence case, it's a weak circumstantial evidence case, and it's based primarily on two things. This junk science letter and the bathroom confession. Well, throw me in that briar patch. You know, we don't know whether the assistant DA actually crossed the line during that interview because he has not passed on that interview to the defense. So there's a three-hour interview with Robert Durst. Mm -hmm. um, we don't know what was said, and it hasn't been made public. They're keeping it very close to the vest. Do other lawyers think this is a weak, circumstantial case? Well, I think, you know, what you had in Galveston when he was charged with Morris Black's murder, you... He admitted he dismembered a body. Um, in this case, you have no direct evidence. And here's what's really interesting that I think has gotten missed in this. The LAPD says they don't really need the documentary. We all remember that, that matching of what's called the cadaver letter, the letter that was sent by Susan Berman's killer. And they seemingly matched it to a letter that Robert Durst. We could see it there right now. And they say, we don't need it. We've already matched his handwriting to that cadaver letter. Well, here's something they're not saying. They matched that cadaver letter to another man in 2001, mm. Niles Brenner. And so mm. they're going to have a real tough time bringing that into trial, saying, oh, this is definitely Durst's handwriting, when they could say, well, you said it was Niles mm. Brenner handwriting in 2001. So you're saying they really need that documentary? Well, I mean, if. I, you can see that. If you just show that to a jury, you don't even need a handwriting specialist. A jury is going to say, wow, that yeah, looks a lot alike. It does. Um, but if you try to bring in handwriting specialists, there's a real problem. You have two handwriting specialists who say the cadaver letter was actually written by somebody else. When might this go to trial? Oh, it's going to be a while because it does look like that this is going to be delayed in New Orleans. And uh, he may face gun charges in New Orleans. Well, you've been on the case for many, many years, Aaron. More for you. And more, yes, yes for a long come. time to come. Good job. Thanks, Aaron. You can see Aaron's full report, The Bizarre Saga of Robert Durst, tomorrow night on 48 Hours at 10, 9 Central. That is here on CBS.